Hello friends, welcome to Coding Garden. Today we're talking about Express version 5. So last week, Express version 5 was officially released on GitHub. You can see it's v5. There is no beta tag. There is no RC tag. v5 is here. So you can use it. You can literally use it in your apps. If you check out NPM and search for Express, you can install and upgrade to version 5. Version 4.2 is like still the default. But if you look at versions, it's here, version 5. <laughs> One of the issues though is the docs have not been fully updated yet. So I think that's a, one of the reasons why you haven't heard a big announcement about this is it's very likely like they're working on the docs. Once they have good, stable docs for V5, they'll pro you'll probably hear more announcements everywhere. But you can check out the V5 documentation. It will tell you to like install beta or, or it's a, they're a little bit outdated. But technically, you can just install version 5 now. And this change log here talks about what methods have been removed or renamed and what are some of the newer things in Express V5. Now, my favorite thing that I that has changed and what would going to make a lot of people's lives easier is rejected promises are handled from middleware and handlers. And actually, I think I have an, an example of this. So I have the Express API starter and then the Express API starter TS. These are still on version four. I'll, I'll be upgrading them soon to version five. But um, let's look at an example. Exactly. So you don't have to try catch. Actually, I don't think I have any examples in here that try catch. But let, let me let me just spin up one of these really quick, show you how it works with v4, upgrade to v5, and then show you how much easier it will be. So let's do it. So I have the Express API starter. You can run this command and it will uh, uh, generate a little Express API for you that has TypeScript ready to go. All right, let's look at the codes. So I have an Express API that gets all set up inside of here. It all adds all of its middlewares and everything, and then it mounts some handlers at API v1. And if we look inside of here, we have a file that would import all of our other routers and mount them at specific endpoints. So let's add a new router. We'll call this the broken router that like always throws an exception, and I'll show you how we should handle it these days. So we're going to mount it at slash broken and then we're going to implement a router here so this is just a super simple one route that responds with an array i'm going to copy it call it broken and then we'll show you what i mean you will never see this okay so right now i'm using typescript in this express app and the way that you use types with express v4 is you pass in the type of the response here and so right now i'm getting a type error because it's like hey that's not the right thing i could call this the broken response and it needs to be an object that has a message property that is a string. And then if I tell it that my responses will be of that type, it should stop complaining. Great. Here's the issue. In Express version 4, if some error happens, let's say you were trying to talk to a database and it threw an exception, or maybe you're making some kind of API request and it throws an exception, you need to handle that. So if I throw a new error here, it says broken. Let's watch what happens. So I'll start this up and then we'll visit API v1 broken. And can anyone in the chat tell me what's going to happen here? What happens when I hit this endpoint right now in Express v4? You will get one bonus cookie. Big old crash. The whole building burns down? Honestly, I mean, now I'm second guessing myself because my guess is that it will just hang because there, because there's no call to next that actually forwards this to the error handler. Yeah, my guess is that this, this, will, this, let's try it. I could be wrong. API v1 broken. Ah, it hit my error handler. This is not what I expected. It works out of the box. So the thing to note is that I actually do have an error handler set up here. And the way that you have this set up is, oh, it has to do with async. You're completely right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so for regular methods, methods that are not async, it's still handled out of the box because I have this error handler middleware. And so in Express, if you add as your last piece of middleware, a function that takes in four arguments, the first argument is going to be the error itself. And so that's why I have that, that error page that's responding right now. And this is one of the things you get with this default setup in this, yeah, my template. That's, that's what you get in my template is. It handles this for you because a lot of people forget to add this error handler. But if you set this up, it's going to pass that error in. If you're not in production, it shows the stack trace, beautiful. The issue arises is if this is an async function, this is not caught. This will hang or crash the app entirely. Is it really? Does this? There's no way this crashes the app entirely. It crashes the app entirely? Huh. Well, with Express v5, that won't happen anymore. <laughs> so right now with v4, <laughs> Express, yeah, just crashing your apps. Okay. Uh, v4, you must try catch. So now that I made this an async function, like I made it async because we could be using like a wait calling a database or something like that. But typically what you need to do for code like this is you actually wrap it in a try catch. And then if there was an error, you forward it on to the error handler using the next function. So you have next here, and then we can say uh, next with that specific error like this. This should fix it. This should stop my entire app from crashing and should uh, behave in the way that the other one did so that it actually captures that exception, forwards it onto the error handler and doesn't bring my entire API down. What is nice is in version five, it makes it so 
that even async functions, you don't have to wrap them in try catch anymore, and it will automatically forward that error onto your error handler. So are we brave enough to try and just install v5 and see what happens? Why not? So let's do npm install of express version 5. Cool. We got rid of a bunch of security vulnerabilities as well. One of the issues, and this was actually brought up in the chat, is and another reason why you don't see any big announcements around v5 just yet, is the types for express haven't been updated yet. So when you use express in a TypeScript app application, you have to install the types separately. And they're in this definitely typed package. And this does not have a version 5 released yet. But there will need to be new types created because if you look in the docs here, they've removed and renamed some methods. I, I think specifically send file. Yeah, it used to be that send file was all lowercase. That has been removed. And now you must use send file with a capital F. So anywhere, if you're using send file, it's going to break unless you change it. And the types have not been updated to reflect that. OK, we installed version 5. Let's see, does the app start up? It starts. Cool. And then does this still work? It still works. So that's a good sign. I'm not doing anything that is a breaking change. So my app is probably OK. And I think this is the other aspect of the V5 release is like most of it's backwards compatible and most of it is stuff that wasn't used as often. So yeah, and this is another thing. The the Dell method was was removed and now you can use the delete function instead. And that's because in the latest version of JavaScript or ECMAScript, delete, which is a reserved keyword, can be used as a property on an object. So we can use delete now. Yeah, this is the other thing is a lot of the methods built into Express used to accept the thing that you were responding with and then the status code is the second argument. They don't support that anymore. Now you have to chain them. So you would say res.status, status code, and then send the thing that you're trying to, to send. But I actually, I never used this format where you, you specify the status code afterwards. If you look at my codes, I'm always setting the status code before I ever, I'm not chaining it, but I always set it before I send it. So like this. So I'm setting that and then responding. Technically, this can be chained. You could do this. But yeah, path route matching syntax has changed as well. I have never used these type of like regular expression captures inside of route names. But if you are, you could run into some issues. So you'll have to see this to see specifically what has changed there. Yeah. And then rec.query is no longer writable. It's a read only property there. But now that we've installed version five, what's nice is that we don't have to try catch anymore. So with version five, we can remove that try catch and it will behave as expected. So this is an async method. What's nice is I don't if I want to use my default error handler, I don't have to bring in next anymore. I can just write my codes like this and this will automatically catch this async error without crashing my entire application. Uh, so let's comment this one out. And now moment of truth, if I try the same endpoint, my application doesn't crash. So <laughs> this, this is this is one reason for upgrading to V5 is it's, it actually will clean up quite a few of your uh, response handlers because you don't have to wrap them in try catches anymore. Anything marked as deprecated inside of V4 was very likely removed in V5. Right now, the types that I'm using are actually for V4. So let's let's see what happens if I try to do uh, app.param. Because of the TypeScript typings in potentially JS doc, I should get like a deprecated error. So if you try calling it with just a callback, I need to look at the docs because I never use this. API reference V4 param. Here we go. Customizing the behavior of app.param. This is no longer supported. This, this this is what I would want to see. Yeah. So in version four, if you were using it and you had like the types installed and everything, you would see that this is deprecated. And let's actually see if we go back to version four. Yeah, we see a deprecated error. So basically, if you're using version four and you see any of these deprecated errors, those methods are completely removed in version five. And so like in this case, we're modifying the param. We even get an editor error that says, hey, this is deprecated. And so if I were to try to run this same code in version five, it will just crash the app. I'm very, yeah, it just crashes the app because the only way to use this is, is by actually passing in a string and then a, uh, a function there. Cool. Yeah, some other like small things, they pluralized these method names. So it used to be accepts char set, accepts encoding. Now it's accepts encodings. And now, yeah, it looks like param has changed a lot because it used to be that you could have a leading colon. Now it won't accept that anymore. Oh, Express 5 no longer supports the signature res.send with just a status code. Instead, you have to do send status. I don't usually have methods where I only respond with a status code. If we look at my middle middleware, like I was talking about res.status sets the status code on the response. But the only thing that actually sends a response is like res.json or res.send or whatever else. But if you do in v5, you cannot do res.send 404. That will not work. In v5, you have to say res.send status. And that sets the status code and sends
sends an empty response. Ultimately, it's a lot of like renaming of things, removing of deprecated functions, and then probably the biggest and most exciting thing is that rejected promises are caught automatically. So V5 is here. You can start updating today. Like I said, it's on NPM, but the main issue is that the types for Express have not been added yet and aren't available on NPM, but there is a PR open. So this PR actually updates the types for V5 and it was open two days ago. So there's some fixes that are happening. Hopefully this gets released soon and then you'll be able to use the types for version five in your app as well. Okay, that's it. Check out Express V5. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.